Hi there. This week I thought we'd do a wee technique video on bellows control after last week's video on the two finger technique. Now why bellows control? Well it's our bellows that I think distinguish how we sound. I'm a big bellows control fan. I think everything we do is controlled by the bellows. The fingers just play the notes but our sound is made by the bellows. So my first thought on practicing bellows technique is about playing quite lightly but still with volume and the way I practice this is I, I would play a G scale over and over on one bellow as I pull out to the left. It would sound like this. a lot of bellows there so I'm just playing very, I'm playing quite lightly there but I'm not playing that lightly but what that does is get you a feel for your bellows so you're not working against your bellows and work bellows are working for you now what I want you to think about now is your volume of your bellows now when I was playing there I was playing a sort of middle volume because then you're going to have a louder volume and a higher volume and that enables you to start thinking about dynamics which is the kind of thing that will talk to you people who are listening to you and it actually makes it more fun and more lyrical for yourself when you play. Now here's an example. That's all just controlled from my bellows, all the different volumes and it lets you really think about different aspects of your phrasing, you can do loads of different things and the big thing here is practice. You have to practice these things. It's not always just about sitting down and playing tunes. Just play this five minutes a day, just mucking around on your bellows and trying to get a constant technique will do you a lot of good. When you're feeling more confident with that, you can think about putting in accents on your bellows and that's probably just doing little pulls and accents like this. Oh. And that's using my, I'm using my left hand for that, but you could also do stuff with your right hand. When you practice these things, you just feel more confident and you'll just feel a lot better about your playing as well and you'll enjoy it even more. Before I go, here's some other bellows techniques you can try. Which is I'm just going in and out and in and out. The most important thing about that, playing like that, is you have really good rhythm. There's nothing worse than when you try to play along with someone and it's all over the place. The other thing you could do is... And that's one, two, three, four, which in practice is... Now I've heard some people say before that you can uh, do that with a bellow shake. I don't really agree with that because a bellows shake does sound completely different to that. Obviously, I can't even do a bellows shake. But that's just, you're only going to do that if you've got complete control of your bellows. I'm getting a bit boring here. I'm going to play a wee tune now. It's a famous Scottish tune called The Flowers of Edinburgh. And when, you, when you're listening to this, look out for volume changes on the bellows. Uh, so a bit of loudness, a bit of quiet, using it for lifts. And I'll try and I'll once or twice I'll try a, a funny bellows trick. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
think I just about pulled that off. Now, if you've got any other ideas for technique videos, please fire them on. You can always email me or mention them in the comments of any of the videos I post. And if you really like this uh, content, would like to hear more and would like to support me, please visit my Patreon account, which is patreon.com forward slash Simon Tubier. And you can support me with a little bit of cash every month. So thanks again, and I'll see you the next time.